Chapter 20 Startled, we both spun around to see a girl about our age. She had rust-colored hair tied in a ponytail on one side. She had a cat-like green eyes, a short stub of a nose, and freckles all over her face. She was wearing faded red gerium jeans and a t-shirt with a grinning green alligator on the front. Cassie, what are you doing here? Will demanded, following you. She replied, making a face of him. She turned to me. You are the new kid, Grady, right? Will told me all about you. Hi, I said awkwardly. He told me a girl lived in here in the neighborhood, but he didn't tell me much about you. That what's to tell? Will teased. I'm Cassie O'Reilly, rookie. She said. She had got up and her hand pulled into the blade of the grass of Will's mouth. Hey! He playfully tried to slug her, but missed. What did you say about a werewolf? I asked. Don't start with this stuff again, Will grumbled to Cassie. It's so stupid. You're, you're just afraid, Cassie accused. No, I'm not. It's too stupid, Will insisted. We stepped into a shade of trees, which has a swamp edge. A funnel cloud with white grand garden is wired crazily in the shaft of, a, of light between the trees. There is a werewolf in the swamp, Cassie said, lowering her voice as she ducked into the gardens and moved deeper into the shade. And I'm going to flap my wings and fly to Mars, Will said sarcastically. Shut up, Will. Cassie snapped. Granny doesn't think doesn't think it's stupid, do you? I shrugged. I don't know. Well I said I don't think believe in I believe in werewolves. Will laughed. Cassie believes in Easter, in the Easter bunny too, he said. Cassie socked him with a heart in the chest. Hey Will cried out angrily as he staggered back. What is your problem? Mosquito, she said, pointing at a, a big one. I got him. Scowling, Will glanced down. I don't see any mosquito. Give me a break, Cassie. We made our way along the, the winding path. It had rained before. The grounding was mercier than usual. We kept sleep, slipping in the soft mud. Did you hear the howling that sounds last night? I asked Cassie. That's the werewolf, she replied softly. Her green cat eyes burned into mine. I'm not kidding around, Grady. I'm serious. These howls ain't human. These howls came from a werewolf who had just killed. Will snickered. You have a very good imagination, Cassie. I guess you watch a lot of scary movies on TV, huh? Real life is scarier than movie than the movies. And she said, lowering her voice to a whisper. Oh, stop. You're making me shake all over. Will explained sarcastically. She didn't reply. She was still staring at me. We walked. You, you believe me, don't you? I don't know, I said. The dome came into the view. The air became heavier and wetter. The tail weeds of the other side stood right up. The dog gurgled quietly. Two big flies dance all over the dark green surface. There's no such thing as werewolves, Cassie, Will muttered, searching for something to throw into the bog. He grinned at her, unless maybe you're when you're one. She rolled her eyes. Very funny. She made biting motions with her teeth and she's going to bite him. I heard a rustling sound across the oval-shaped bog. It was tall. The weeds suddenly parted, and Wolf appeared at the edge of the water. What does the werewolf look like? Will asked sarcastically. Does it have red hair and freckles? Cassie didn't reply. I turned to see a look of terror froze on her face. Her green eyes grew wide. Her freckles seemed to fade. There's the werewolf, she stammered in a choked whisper. She pointed at the chill of fear. I turned to see what she was pointing. To my horror, she was pointing right at Wolf.